Jennifer here. Today I have favorites for you and I am never able to get my favorites coordinated with the month so I'm always late. <laughs> so these are like January, February, March favorites basically <laughs> that I'm sharing with you here because I haven't done one of these videos in so long. But if you didn't see my video on Monday, I announced that we're having another baby. So thank you so much, hopefully, for all of your congratulations. I'm actually just shooting this video right after I shot that video, so. <laughs> but by now you know. Um, so I just wanted to uh, just say thank you, and yes, we are having another baby. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you a wide variety of things. Two of the favorites have been sent to me to review. The rest of them I found on my own. So let's get right into it. You're gonna be so excited. <laughs> okay, so you probably noticed from the title of this video that I talked about modest swimwear. You probably remember my post from, I think it was last spring summer where I showed you my modest swimwear and I confess that I like to wear modest swimwear. It's not something that you see very often, um, but I just feel more comfortable in it. I just feel more covered. I'm more protected from the sun. And I do think that it's a trend that is coming back because not everybody wants to wear a string bikini <laughs> at the water park with their kids. So anyway, I did that video and it was really popular. So a company called Modly, M-O-D-L-I, reached out to me and they said, Jennifer, we'd love to send you one of our modest bathing suits. Um, and if you like it, show it on the blog. So they did. And I chose the bathing suit and I tell you what, I love this bathing suit. So I'm really excited to share it with you today. So this is the top. What a beautiful pattern, right? I love the colors. And that's the thing about these um, swimsuits is that yes, they are long sleeves and yes, they give you sun protection, which I absolutely love. And these are the bottoms and it's this wonderful bright orange color. It's just perfect uh, for spring, summer. So as you can see, I am wearing them here. So keep in mind, as I'm wearing this bathing suit right now, I'm about um, 13 weeks pregnant. I shot this little scene last week. So, um, so I told them, I said, you know, I am pregnant, so I don't know if I'm going to fit into the bathing suit, but she said that actually pregnant women love their bathing suits and that they do stretch, and this one does too. So I just think it's a wonderful suit. In fact, uh, the morning that I shot this little clip, I put on the bathing suit, you know, before the kids got up and I got my sun hat on and I was walking around the master bedroom. My husband was still sleeping and he woke up and he said, you should wear more color. He's like, that looks really nice on you. <laughs> so he, he loved the colors and I just think that this swimsuit is so fabulous. So go check out Modly. You know, if you're looking for modest fashion, they have everything. They have more than just swimwear. They have women's clothes. They even have uh, girls' clothes, I believe. I will leave everything um, to do with them, their link below. Go check them out. They have some really awesome clothing. If you're just tired of, of finding clothes that cover you properly, this is a great website. And I think that this um, bathing suit is beautiful. It's just an absolute favorite of mine. So thank you to Modly for sending this suit. Really quickly, I wanted to show you this because a lot of people ask, what do you wear underneath the bathing suit? So they also sent this, this is a swim bra. Um, they actually sent, uh, this size doesn't actually fit me, but I did try it on. Uh, it's a bit tight on me, but, um, but I actually have swim bras. But I just wanted to show you because a lot of people have said, what do you wear underneath? Obviously, you have to wear something. These swim bras are really nice because they provide coverage. It's kind of like a sports bra. Um, and yes, yeah, so they sell those as well. So they have everything there. I'll leave the links below. So thank you to Modly for sending me that beautiful bathing suit. Okay, the next thing that I requested uh, was this new SPF line. So obviously the summer's coming up. We want an SPF for our skin. We need to protect ourselves. Um, but you know, with my recent new do um, skincare review video, which I'll leave linked below, and by the way, I'm still loving new do, I love it, um, but I don't have an SPF with them. I found this company called My Shell Dermaceuticals, and this is this upcoming um, skincare line that's doing really well. So I was excited to try it. And they sent me their, um, their skincare line here. So there's a sun protection, this is a sun shield liquid, SPF 50, so this is a great um, sunscreen to put on, you know, before you put your makeup on or just at the beginning of the day on your face. I love it, it doesn't break you out, it's fantastic. 
They have this um, replenishing solar defense body lotion in SPF 50. And I love the generous portion in this. There is a lot in this bottle and it's just so high quality. These are all natural SPFs, by the way. Um, they're one of the best in the market. And then this is so cool. This is a tinted sunblock stick. So let's, you know, have you ever wondered what do I do after I've applied my makeup? Do I rub SPF all over my face? Well, this is the solution. So this is a tinted um, sunblock stick and it goes on and it uh, is flattering for it, any skin tone. So it's going to blend into your skin tone no matter what skin tone you have. It's not going to look awkward and I love it. I just, you could put it on on top of your makeup and, or even if you don't wear makeup, it kind of acts like makeup. It's really nice. That's one of the things that I love about this blog is that I'm able to be exposed to these new innovative brands. So anyway, these are my favorites. I've already started using them. The sun is coming out here and uh, I just think that they're fantastic. So if you're looking for natural SPF, definitely check them out. I'll leave everything down below. Okay, next on the list is the rumble roller. And you're probably wondering what on earth is a rumble roller? <laughs> so um, I saw this at my parents' house. Actually, my dad has one in his home office. This is bigger. His is like the size of a, what do you call those things that you roll your back on? Foam rollers? Yeah, it's like, a, it's like the size of a foam roller. And I laid on it and I thought, this is amazing. It's like you're getting a deep tissue massage. So let's back up for a second. I am one of those people who just always needs a massage. If I got one every day, I would be so happy. But just between carrying the baby and uh, you know being pregnant and just doing housework all the time and just everything that being a mom involves, my back is always hurting me. It's always hurting. My children always walk on my back and my husband is so nice. He always gives me neck massages and things like that. So. I'm always asking for massages. So I thought, you know, I, I have to stop pestering my family for massages. So I was laying on my dad's rumble roller and I thought this is the best thing ever. So I went and I ordered one for myself from Amazon, but I did something wrong because I got this compact one. <laughs> the one that my dad has is big. It's like the size of a foam roller. Anyway, so I thought, oh, should I take it back? Should I send it back? And this is actually fine for me. So I don't really need uh, the giant one. So what you do is there's like a whole booklet that comes with it about different exercises you can do for it, but it gives you a deep tissue massage. So you lay down on the ground and I have a lot of neck trouble because also I'm also, I'm always writing on my computer and that is just, you know, this whole thing hurts and my neck hurts from doing that. So I lay down on the ground and I'll just lay my neck on it and just, you just move your neck slightly and it's like, someone's kneading your neck. It's just amazing. I love this thing so much. So um, there's that. So I do that. I do it on my upper back, on my lower back. You could rub, you know, roll it on your feet, under your feet, on your calves. This thing is so awesome. So if you have back problems, you always want massages, you always need things to be worked out. This is really great and I highly recommend it. And I actually really like the compact size. It's not, you know, so big and it, it works just as well. So leave both sizes linked below, um, but this is just fantastic. I love the rumble roller. <laughs> I mentioned my good friend Jenny Williams. I know I've mentioned her before, but she owns uh, the Etsy store called Carrot Top Paper Shop, and she sent me another gift recently. Uh, she's so sweet, and she sent me personalized stationery, and I shared that on Instagram, but um, let's see. I don't know if I can get... My camera is like not focusing lately, so what I'll do is I'll put the Instagram picture right here but she sent me personalized stationery and just things for my daughter. She's just so sweet. So I wanted to share her on uh, my favorites. She has this little bag, um, this canvas bag, and I always bring this to piano lessons when we go because while one daughter's playing the piano, I do the other one. I do schoolwork with the other one, so I, we always put our schoolwork in here. But isn't this cute? It says, sorry, I'm booked. I love it. And she's all about reading. She, she draws portraits of literary heroines, and this is a... Um, a bookmark of Mary Poppins. She just sends us all sorts of cute things. So I just wanted to say hi Jenny and go check out her shop, her Etsy shop. I will leave it linked down below. Next on my favorites list is my Euro Cuisine yogurt maker. I will do a video, I promise. I promised you a poached egg video and I promised you a yogurt making video. So this is just the coolest machine 
Making yogurt is so easy. I thought that it was this big, long, complicated process, but it's really easy and it produces yogurt that tastes so good. It's like, it just brings me back to France because it was that yogurt that didn't have preservatives in it. And if you have read lessons from Madame Chic, you know my preservative in the yogurt story. <laughs> very embarrassing story but anyway that's another story um, but anyway I love my yogurt maker I will leave it down below if you're interested in it um, I bought mine off of Amazon and uh, if you want to make yogurt then you can make it along with me when I do my video you know that I haven't had time to watch TV I don't watch any TV anymore pretty much and I haven't watched any movies but I do have time for my YouTube channels I just love YouTube and you know what this is why I love it because do you remember, you know, all those horrible Real Housewives shows that are on Bravo, like the Beverly Hills and New York and, and, and everything? So when those shows first came out, I was excited because I thought, oh, I love to see how Real Housewives live. And then, of course, it doesn't show how Real Housewives live at all. It's just all fake and everyone's just arguing all the time. It's horrible. So um, this is why I love YouTube, because I have the certain channels that I watch with real women, real moms, real life, real messes, real cooking. That's what I like. I just love the realness of it all. So I have a new one for you. Uh, many of you might already know who she is, but her name is Fallon Moss and her channel is called Moss Family TV. And I have just been loving Fallon's videos. I've known about her channel for a long time, um, but I just started uh, watching her videos regularly. She's just such an inspiration and I'll tell you why. So she's a mom of four and um, they're from the South. You could tell they have those great Southern accents and she's just great. And you know, here's what's inspiring about her because she has so much going on in her life. You know, she, she's got four kids, uh, she homeschools them. They're also musicians, so they have a band. She does YouTube, she does all this stuff. But throughout all of that, Fallon just makes her home life a priority. And that's what I, I like to talk about on this channel. She's cooking, uh, she's cleaning, she's taking care of her kids and she's doing it with a happy heart. It's not like, oh, I have to do this, you know? And I really want to do all the other stuff, you know, because she's there. They have a band like she could, you know, get starstruck or something and want, and want to just only do that. But she is she just puts her family first. I love that about her. I think she's so inspiring. So uh, I will leave her details down below. Go subscribe to her channel. If you like what you see, tell her I said hi. She's just fantastic. And I love her and her family. They're just so great. So hi, Fallon and Titus and all the kids. <laughs> the thing I wanted to share was um, the acai bowls that I've been making. And okay, and how do you pronounce it? Is it acai or is it acai? I'm not sure, but I have been making these smoothie bowls. I got this acai mix at Costco and I saw it a long time ago. I've just been avoiding buying it because I thought I just make my own smoothies. But I like the idea of a smoothie bowl. So I've been making my own smoothie bowls with this um, great drink mix. So I don't know if you have it in your local grocery store, but I'll put it right here to show you what it looks like. Um, and what you do is you cut one or two of the packages, you put a little bit of uh, a liquid, like I use almond milk, but you could put like a quarter of a cup or a half of a cup, depending on how much you use, and then half of a banana. And it has this nice thick consistency. So you could put the smoothie in the bowl and I like to cover mine with granola and fruit. And you know they get all fancy at restaurants so they'll cover them with like flower petals and things like that, which I don't do. Um, but anyway, we all love, well, not my husband, but my, me and the children love these acai drinks. So I wanted to leave those below. And thank you for all of your great response to my breakfast video. I will do a follow-up breakfast video for spring summer because as the seasons change, my breakfast change too. So I've been having a lot of smoothie bowls, overnight oats and those types of things lately. So I will update you on that. But that is it for my favorites video. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorites are in the comment section below. Thank you for joining me and I will see you next time on The Daily Connoisseur. Bye.